Good morning. Today we'll be doing the Liturgy of the Hours morning prayer for Tuesday, August 23rd. Today we celebrate Saint Rose of Lima, a virgin of our church. Let's have a moment of silence as we begin our prayer. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The man whose deeds are blameless and whose heart is pure will climb the mountain of the Lord. The Lord is the earth and its fullness, the world and all its peoples. It is he who set it on the seas, on the waters he made it firm. Who shall climb the mountain of the Lord? Who shall stand in his holy place? The, the man, man with, with clean hands, hands and pure heart, who, who desires not, not worthless things, who has not sworn so as to deceive his neighbor. He shall receive blessings from the Lord and a reward from the God who saves him. Such are the men who seek him. Seek the face of the gods of Jacob. O gates, lift high your heads, Grow higher, ancient, ancient doors. Let, let him enter the King, the King of Glory. Who is, Who is the King, the of, King glory? of Glory? The, the Lord, the Mighty, the Valiant. The Lord, the Valiant in War. O gates, lift high your heads. Grow higher, ancient doors. Let him enter the King of Glory. Who is, is he, the King of Glory? He is the Lord the armies he is, is the, the king, king of glory glory to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it, as it was, was in the beginning is now and will be forever amen the man, the man whose deeds are blameless and whose heart is pure will climb the mountain of the lord Praise the Eternal King in all your deeds. Blessed be God who lives forever, because his kingdom lasts for all ages. For he scourges and then has mercy. He casts down to the depths of the netherworld, and he brings up from the great abyss. No one can escape his hand. Praise him, you Israelites before the Gentiles. For though he has scattered you among them, he has shown you his greatness ever there. Exalt him before every living being, 
because he is the Lord our God, our Father, and God forever. He scourged you for your iniquities, but will again have mercy on you all. He will gather you from all the Gentiles among whom you have been scattered. When you turn back to him with all your heart to do what is right before him, then he will turn back to you and no longer hide his face from you. So now consider what is done for you and praise him with full voice. Bless the Lord of righteousness and exalt the King of the ages. In the land of my exile, I praise him and show his power and majesty to a sinful nation. Turn back, you sinners, do the right before him. Perhaps he may look with favor upon you and show you mercy. As for me, I exalt my God, and my spirit rejoices in the King of heaven. Let all men speak of his majesty and sing his praises in Jerusalem. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Praise the eternal King in all your deeds. The loyal heart must praise the Lord. Bring out your joy to the Lord, O you just, for praise is fitting for loyal hearts. Give thanks to the Lord upon the harp, with a ten-string lute, sing him songs. O sing him a song that is new, play loudly with all your skill. For the word of the Lord is faithful and all his works to be trusted. The Lord loves justice and right, and fills the earth with his love. By his word the heavens were made, by the breath of his mouth all the stars. He collects the waves of the ocean, he stores up the depths of the sea. Let all the earth fear the Lord, all who live in the world revere him. He spoke, and it came to be. He commanded, it sprang into being. He frustrates the designs of the nations. He defeats the plans of the peoples. His own designs shall stand forever. The plans of his heart from age to age. They are happy, whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen as his own. From the heavens the Lord looks forth. He sees all the children of man. From the place where he dwells, he gazes on all the dwellers on the earth. He who shapes the hearts of them all and considers all their deeds. A king is not saved by his army, nor a warrior preserved by his strength. A vain hope for safety is the horse. Despite its power, it cannot save. The Lord looks on those who revere Him, on those who hope in His love, to rescue their souls from death, to keep them alive in famine. Our soul is waiting for the Lord. The Lord is our help and our shield. In Him do our hearts find joy. We trust in His holy name. May your love be upon us, O Lord, as we place all our hope in you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The loyal heart must praise the Lord.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. It is now the hour for you to wake from sleep. The night is far spent, the day draws near. Let us cast off deeds of darkness and put on the armor of light. Let us live honorably as in daylight. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Good morning. In today's reading, the Apostle Paul speaks to the Romans and he speaks to us clearly about living in the light, the light of Christ. He tells us to wake up, to put aside the things of darkness. And in today's gospel, Jesus reprimands the Pharisees once again and reminds them that it is not what you see on the outside but what you carry inside of you that is important. He says to be clean on the inside first, to purify yourself. Then the outside will glow radiantly. The light of Christ will shine. So let us cast off those deeds of darkness and put on the armor of light. Let us live honorably as in the daylight. My God stands by me, all my trust is in him. My God stands by me, all my trust is in him. I find refuge in him, and I am truly free. All my trust is in him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. My God stands by me, all my trust is in him. God has raised up for us a mighty Savior as He promised through the words of His holy prophets. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to His people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of His servant David. Through His holy prophets, He promised of old that He would save us from our enemies from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was his oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadows of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God has raised up for us a mighty Savior, as He promised through the words of His holy prophets. Beloved brothers and sisters, we share a heavenly calling under Christ, our High Priest. Let us praise Him with shouts of joy. Lord, Lord our, our God and, and our Savior. Almighty King, through baptism, you conferred on us a royal priesthood. Inspire us to offer you a continual sacrifice of praise. Help us to keep your commandments, that through the power of the Holy Spirit, we may believe in you and you in us. Give us your eternal wisdom, to be, to be with us today and to guide us. May our companions today be free of sorrow and filled with joy. At this time, let's take a moment of silence to lift up our prayers and petitions 
to our Lord Jesus Christ. Dear Lord Jesus, we lift up to you our prayers and our petitions together with the prayers and petitions of each and everyone who are praying with us this morning. We ask, dear Jesus, that you hear and answer each and every prayer as we say, Lord our God, God our, our Savior. Savior. Lord, remember us when you come into your kingdom and teach us how to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. God our Father, for love of you, St. Rose gave up everything to devote herself to a life of penance. By the help of her prayers, may we imitate her selfless way of life on earth and enjoy the fullness of your blessings in heaven. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Thank you for praying with us. We hope you can join us again tomorrow. Same time, same place, same channel. Have a great day.